expected. The convocation will begin shortly. As the convocation is a formal occasion, we would like to request that all graduands and guests remain seated throughout the ceremony and that all mobile devices be switched to the silent mode. Thank you. Congratulations on achieving this great milestone. You have finished what you started and you are now a graduate of SUSS. But every end has a new beginning. So where do you go from here? In the years ahead, apply what you have learned and believe in yourself. The future will pose many challenges, but you will also come across new and promising opportunities. As you begin the next chapter in your life, allow me to share three key points to take note. Embrace lifelong learning and be relevant and ready for the changes in the coming decades. Keep fit and stay healthy so that you can enjoy life to the fullest. Last but not least, remember to help others with your talents, gifts and time because that's what will keep you happy. On behalf of the School of Business, we are all very proud of you and I wish you the very best for your future. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the academic procession and to remain standing for the national anthem.
I declare this convocation open for the presentation of graduates for their degrees in business. I'm delighted to address all of you from the class of 2020 on the completion of your education journey in SUSS. Congratulations! We are proud of you and no doubt, so are your family members and supporters. Your graduation is unique coming in the year when COVID-19 struck. Many of our lives, work and relationships have changed as a result. Even this convocation ceremony which we are doing differently from our usual. But we are holding this despite the phase three restrictions because this is a milestone event and accomplishment for you. And it holds much meaning for you as it does for us. You have been waiting patiently for this. Thank you. My colleagues have worked tirelessly to organize these ceremonies and thanks is due to them. You are graduating in exceptional times and even the future years come with more uncertainty. This calls for you to be an exceptional cohort as well, who will be pioneers on many fronts. And our society, Singapore, needs you to tackle the new problems, situations and obstacles that will come our way, adding to the normal issues we face as a country. But while big changes have occurred, some things which we hope you have cultivated in SUSS remain unchanged. Being adaptive, keeping a learning spirit, being socially conscious, being practical and professional. You will not regret holding on to these. And I'd like to send you off with three thoughts. First, stay positive. You will have your ups and downs. Right now, some of you may be waiting anxiously to get into your dream job or even just any good job. Others are worried about how long COVID-19 will last, unable to travel or holiday. Well, you've got your degree. That's a goal reached, one to celebrate about. Most problems do not remain unsolvable and look smaller when you have a positive spirit and appear surmountable if tackled one step at a time. Second, be grateful. You had a chance to go to university and you made the grade. You work hard for it. But really, who else did help along the way? Those who supported you financially, those who taught you, those who gave their time for you, those who made other sacrifices, those who cheered you on when the going was tough. Take a moment now to thank them all, especially your families and loved ones. Third, do good. Even as the pandemic made life difficult, we saw waves of adaptation, innovative ideas and acts of kindness all around. We should all be heartened. With your gratitude, a positive attitude, you can be doing good to others and lift spirits. Indeed, our SUSS community has also responded. We mounted support measures for our graduating cohorts and alumni, banded together to support our students financially through our Student Care Fund, and funded student startups to help create new ventures and jobs. Our students started service learning enterprises to answer the call of those in need or set up startups to meet different consumer demands. They found green shoots in crisis. There are 2,432 students graduating from the class of 2020 over the coming two weeks. I urge all of you to encourage one another. Use what you have gained for self-advancement and also for good outcomes for others. And when you combine your strengths and good-heartedness, SUSS graduates will be a major force for good that society will welcome. 
As SUSS sends you out, keep ties with us. Actively engage with the university community. Join us as SUSS ambassadors or serve as a mentor for our new students. In your next chapter of life, I hope SUSS core learning philosophy of head, heart, habit will spur you on to be professionally competent, socially conscious, and inspired to learn every day. These qualities will serve you well for many years to come. On behalf of all of us in SUSS, congratulations and all the best for a bright future. Mr. Azriman Mansour, Presiding Officer, Member of SUSS Board of Trustees, Professor Chui Kai Chong, Provost SUSS, Graduates, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen. Good afternoon. As the Dean of the School of Business, I can now finally meet you and say congratulations to the graduating class of 2020. For many of us, the COVID-19 pandemic has altered many of our plans in some way. As we cope and gradually overcome this, let's encourage each other to stay vigilant. So please do your part. Young or old, get vaccinated if you have not already done so. Think of it as national service. If you want to serve your country at a time like this, start by getting vaccinated. Okay, now for my speech. But I must warn you, I've been known to tell very long stories. However, I will spare you the agony this afternoon, and I would like you to just focus on two important life lessons that are relevant to me and I thought that this would be a good time to share them with all of you. Let me start with the first lesson, and it is based on a story which I learned as a child. Actually, I won't need to tell you the story because I'm quite sure all of you already know the fable entitled The Tortoise and the Hare. It's one of the most famous of Aesop's fables. For many of you, you could possibly identify with the tortoise in the story. Slow and steady wins the race. That's what you have achieved as you came for classes, took your assessments one semester after another. Slow and steady, and you are all seated here today. Done. But think about this. Has the story ended for you? I'm afraid not. One race has just finished, but a different race and a new story has begun for each of you. Now, the main character in this fable has always been the tortoise. But I would like to challenge you to begin to think of yourself as the hare. Not the old one who lost, but one who has been transformed. You see, the hare was always meant to win that race, but he didn't make full use of his capabilities. With your SUSS degree and everything else we have taught you while you've been here, we want you to run even faster, to win one race after another in the years to come. If you wish to keep winning, stay focused on your goals. Don't get distracted along the way. Get into the habit of learning to upgrade yourself and embrace lifelong learning to stay ahead. I'm quite sure that if you can do all these, you will always stay in front of the tortoises. And when you are able to do that, don't just leave the tortoises behind. Help them to succeed so that everyone gets to cross the finish line. 
The second lesson which I would like to share is based on what I experienced when I did my national service many years ago. It has shaped my mindset ever since. We operated the RBS-70 anti-aircraft surface-to-air missile system, which is still operational today, and it is primarily used to protect key installations from enemy aircraft that have penetrated through all our other air defense systems. Unlike some missiles that are of the fire and forget type, the RBS-70 depends on the skill of the missile gunner, who would direct a laser beam at the target. The missile then rides the beam as it homes in on the enemy aircraft. A good gunner must roughly visually locate the target, fire the missile first, and then aim the laser beam at the cockpit. If my gunner hesitates, and waits too long to get a proper aim first before firing, the, op the opportunity to engage the aircraft may be lost, and the consequences of that may be death and destruction. As you go through life in the years ahead, there will be times when you will not be 100% sure what the outcome will be, and yet you will need to take a decision. Will this job turn out well for me? What will this new work assignment be like? Can I afford this investment? Should I work overseas? Would I be able to cope with graduate studies? I encourage you to seize the opportunity and then work really hard to achieve what you need to do. If you want to succeed in life, every now and then, you will have to fire first and aim later. In summary, there will be many more challenges ahead, but think of yourself as the hare. Make full use of what you have learned to stay ahead so that you are in a good position to help others who can't. And when the opportunities come your way, believe in yourself and do consider to fire first and aim later. Sometimes in life, you only get one chance. So class of 2020, congratulations, and we are all very proud of you and what you have achieved. I look forward to hear of even more successes in the coming years. Take care of yourselves, keep fit and stay in good health. And above all, I wish you happiness all the days of your life. Thank you. Presiding Officer, may I present the following graduates on whom the degree of Bachelor of Science Finance has earlier been conferred. Chong Wai Kit. <laughs> Xia Wei Ren Milton. Tiu Wun Yang Andri <laughs> Zhang Zhen Yi <laughs> Xi 
Samira Nasrin Binti Abdul Rahim Iqbal. Samira Nasrin is a winner of the Service Learning Award. Yap Elong Kenneth. Kenneth is a winner of the SUSS EMP Alumni Entrepreneurship Award. Abdul Halim Bin Sadi. Ang Yi Ling. Jason Gan Shao En. Gerald Pu Wee Gem. Ong Rei Rong. Tan Jing Yi. Tiu Zhong Ming. Wee Guan Hao Maldrick. Cho Siu Zhen. Li Jia Ying. Wong Jia Feng. Qing Zhi Quan Samuel. Samuel is the winner of the Kaya Silver Award. Ernest Niu Jun Hao. Ernest is the winner of the Ivy Cha Achievement Award in Financial Planning and Management. Ang Rui Lian. Chu Kok Ying. Chu Pei Chi Stella. Go Hong Lam Dallas. Liu Xiao Ying. Muna Xavier Harold. Muhammad Farid bin Rizwan. Tan Lu Hing Gavin. Bek Hua Xiang. Brandon Chua Chi Yan. Chen Xing Yang. Fiang Fu Shu Fei. Ho Zhao Xian. Jovi Xiu. Ko Shuo En. Lai Ai Ting. Li Xuet Fan. Li Zhi Yi. Lian Miao Yu. Lim Chu Wei Benson.
Niu Wee King Kenny. <laughs> oh Wei Xiang. <laughs> Reston Ting Jing Feng. <laughs> Sean Niu Yue Ru. Tan Shi Kai Tan Wee Kia Wai Wai Yu We Ming Hui Presiding Officer, may I present the following graduates on whom the degree of Bachelor of Science, Management and Security Studies has earlier been conferred. Chu Ping Sing. <laughs> Chong Jia Le, Sebastian. Lali Kuma Katka Lim Yu Cheng Lo Zheng Da Raj Kuma Suba Tong Jim An Nicholas <laughs> Chua Ming Ching <laughs> Harunishan Bin Sapri <laughs> Hasniza Binti Zaino Siu Ping Iskandar Mirza Bin Saleh Isningsha Bin Muhammad Ismail Kairu Azri Bin Fazila Lim Chun Ho Lim Lim Yan Fang Muhammad Yaqub Muhammad Rafiq Muhammad Afendi Hidayah bin Ahmad Padia. <laughs> Muhammad Niti Sastra bin Muhammad Zaid. <laughs> Naziha binti Muhammad Nazia. Nazira Binti Zokipili <laughs> Ong Chi Kyung <laughs> Sadiq Bin Nazir Hussein <laughs> Sim 
Zheng Jie. Shahida Binti Abdul Aziz. Shahru Anwa Bin Kaiju Shale. Tan Si Wei Edmund. The graduate representative for the School of Business Class of 2020 is Ms. Sharifa Faiza Binti uh, Saeed Ibrahim, who graduated with the degree of Bachelor of Science Business. We will now watch a video recording of Ms. Sharifa Faiza's speech. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on the session you are attending. Distinguished academics and staff, guests, fellow graduates, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sharifa Faiza, a graduate from the Bachelor of Science in Business. First and foremost, I would like to congratulate the class of 2020. We finally did it! Many of us here were probably disappointed last year when the university was unable to hold a convocation ceremony due to the COVID-19 situation. However, I am sure the wait is worthwhile because today we can proudly wear this gown and motorboard sitting here with our families and loved ones. I have graduated more than 20 years ago with an engineering diploma and with that diploma, it allowed me to flap my wings and expanded my horizon into the labour force. In my 20 years working in the public transport sector, I realised I was getting way too comfortable for my own good. Even though I have many years of work experience to do my job well, I came to realise that with the increasing competitiveness in our economy, it has become a necessity for one to be continuously upgraded to have a competitive edge in the workforce. I felt I might lose out to my better qualified peers. With increasing responsibilities, it was time to learn, unlearn, and relearn. I took a leap of faith and made the decision to pursue a part-time degree at SUSS in 2015. The subsidy from the government's Skills Future Mid-Career Scheme came in handy and relieved me of the financial burden whilst pursuing my degree, allowing me to focus on my studies. I remember having mixed feelings and being unsure if I could juggle studies, work and family. 30th January 2016, my first day in the BUS 100 class. After a long, long time of more than one and a half decade of not stepping in a classroom, I look around and I saw all my classmates were much younger and energetic. Still, I decided to press on. After all, it was only day one. But what made me realise that it was never too old to study and pursue lifelong learning was on that same day as I walked to the canteen during the break. I noticed a man in his 70s who was studying and doing his assignment. So, I told myself, if he could do it, so could I. I quote Napoleon Hill who said that great achievement is usually born of great sacrifice and is never the result of selfishness. Studying a part-time degree course is never easy. Juggling work, studies, family life and other responsibilities can take its toll. Halfway through my studies, my father had to undergo an amputation due to a foot infection and was subsequently admitted to ICU due to post-surgery complications. In all, he was in the hospital for six months and sadly, he left us one year later in August 2020. Being a caregiver to my parents, these events were a challenge for me. Fortunately, with the support and understanding of my friends and groupmates, I was able to complete my studies and get good grades. 
Before we close this chapter in our lives and start the next one, I would like to thank all my friends for all the advice and support in one way or another. The memories we shared will always remain close to my heart. To all the academic staff, thank you for all the guidance. Above all, my special tribute goes to my family, especially my late father, who had always supported my decisions and made this graduation dream possible for me. I am sure he would be so proud of me if he were here today. To my husband, thank you for being my greatest pillar of strength and emotional support whenever I had mood swings, especially during exams and working on my assignments. At this juncture, I would like to invite all graduates to please rise and face your loved ones. Please join me in expressing our utmost appreciation to your loved ones and the university for making this day possible for us. Let's give them our warmest round of applause. Please be seated. All of us had different backgrounds when we came to SUSS. We met new friends and increased our networking along the way. But today, we are living as proud students with a common goal to be successful in our careers. All of us are gearing up for the next phase of our life with passion, perseverance and dedication to make it big in the future. Thank you, everyone.
Congratulations to all graduates, loved ones, and of course, staff. I declare this convocation closed. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the national anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain seated until you are called upon to move out of the hall. Ladies and gentlemen, please be reminded to leave the campus immediately after you leave the ceremony hall. We thank you for your cooperation. Graduates from Zone A, you may now stand and follow our ushers.